Hey everyone, Naomi Meredith here, and this is a topic that I've been getting a lot of questions about lately, and is sure it's on your mind as well. So on this episode of the STEM Tech Co Show, we're going to be talking about some holiday party ideas that you can do virtually. So I am a former classroom teacher turned current K-5 STEM teacher, and I understand what that party situation is like. I have done many of them, and so I'm here to give you some tips where you can make this experience still fun for your kids and something that they will remember. So at the end of this presentation, I will tell you where to get the links to all of this stuff to help inspire you, and maybe you could try this with your class. So the first idea is the gift wrap STEM challenge. No, you don't have to be just a STEM teacher to do a STEM challenge. This one I did do in person last year, and it was very interesting how kids attacked this problem. So they have three different wrapping methods to choose from, three different videos, which I have those all made for them. So like it's kind of the same process in a way. So they have three different methods to choose from. And so they choose one of those methods to wrap their gift. So I was able to find little boxes kind of similar to this, or um, the ones that I found were longer, but boxes at Dollar Tree. So all the kids had the same size box. And then I gave them some wrapping paper and tape where they could try this challenge. Now you're thinking, well, they're virtual, I can't do this. Well, if you think about it now, I'm just hoping that this will help you before you get to your party, but you can maybe um, have a drop, a pickup time where the kids can come and pick up supplies for the party and have them not open it until party time. So you could put them in like brown paper bags, staple them, it says don't open till the party. Um, that way they know that it is there for that special time. So they have the supplies. Then maybe a couple kids won't pick them up, just drop it off at their house. Um, but you could definitely do that. So anyway, they have three different wrapping methods to choose from. And then they try wrapping with that method. And trust me, like this is actually a great life skill um, for them to learn how to wrap a gift. I know a lot of people use bags, but um, this is just a great skill for them to have. So they wrap the gift, then they actually unwrap the present and they have to try various math applications. So find the area perimeter of the wrapping paper that they use, how many pieces of tape, and then there's a discussion for the kids to have at the end of class. This would be great for breakouts and then come together as a whole class where they talk about what method they used and how effective it was. So did they use a lot of wrapping paper? Did it require a lot of tape? Now, the lot, what I found the kids use way more tape than what the video suggests, um, but it's just really interesting to see their take on it and what they thought was the best method out of the three. This one is really great for fourth, fifth, and sixth grades, just based on my experience with the kids. You could try third grade, you never know. I was a third grade teacher, so you, they can always surprise you. But it did work better for those older kids, and it took quite some time. So you could do this, have them wrap, and then they can't, you can play some music in the background. So this is a really fun one. Another thing that you can try during your virtual holiday party is actually a virtual field trip. Now, I know that we have people haven't really been able to go anywhere during this time, so this is a great opportunity to have a shared experience with everybody and explore the world in a different way. So I linked and found different virtual field trips you could try with your class that are winter themed. So there was a really cool one of these glaciers where it was by Google Arts and Culture, where you can explore the glaciers and you can get a 360 view so it feels like you're actually there and then you click through and the guide like talks you through what's happening so that was super super cool um also disney makes their own virtual field trips now you can use it with the goggles but this one you can share with the class and this one is like a frozen ride so it takes you through the whole experience and some kids might not have ever been to disney so or might not be able to go and so it actually takes them like they're waiting in line they're getting into the um car they see all the things. It's pretty cool. So that one's pretty neat. Um, and there was actually another one about like a computer museum, which you're like, that's not winter. Well, if you see around me, it is um, <laughs> computer science week and hour of code. So that could be another take on that party. So just a cool way to experience something that's a little more interactive during that time instead of just a video. Um, another STEM challenge, and we talked about how you can get supplies to your kids. This one is less supplies. Like most of the kids will probably have this stuff at home, but it's a sleigh challenge. So using just thin cardboard, I had this from a water box that you can see um, tape. Um, you don't need the bells, but 
tape and then straws, or you could use popsicle sticks or sticks from outside, um, is to build a sleigh that can hold as many presents as possible. If I were gonna do this in person, I would use Unifix cubes for the presents, but most kids have little tiny toys that they collect and they could put those as the different um, toys inside, the different presents inside of the sleigh. Um, so through that challenge, you talk about how the difference between a sled and a sleigh, how a sleigh is made. Um, also, they can test their designs with different things in the checklist that I would give them. So another fun challenge. I love doing um, challenges during my classroom parties. It just kept them more engaged and focused in that energy in a positive way instead of sitting there and eating cookies the whole time. Because let's be honest, I didn't let them eat more than like two cookies because who had to deal with them all day? So um, <laughs> I totally encourage that. Um, two more for you, two more ideas is, I know a lot of schools like to celebrate holidays around the world. And so you can definitely do this virtually. Um, <laughs> in another classroom experience, we actually did our holiday party one time, me and my teammates, where we each did one part of the party and the kids would switch to us. So you could do holidays around the world where each person on your team, or if you even did it with a couple teams, each person takes a holiday and you teach the kids about the holiday, so you switch the host around so the kids stay in the um, virtual room, and then the teacher just switches. Um, so each person takes a holiday and teaches the kids about it through like a video. You could play a little game as a class, a little trivia. Um, you could read a story that is like a story that is traditional for that holiday. So it's cool because you can really focus in and really get good at teaching that one holiday. And the kids can learn from different people and wonder who's going to be their next guest. So that's always fun to know each other's kids and also mix it up. The last one um, was inspired by one of my coworkers recently, and it is a scavenger hunt that you can do virtually with the kids. Um, I do have a free template for you guys to use that I'll keep free because this is a weird time, um, but it's different things that the kids can go find in their house really quick and then bring it back and earn points. So I put a little timer and then something they need to find. So one of the things is like, go find something that can help you drink a warm drink or go find something that would look good on a snowman. So very winter based, not so quite just holiday specific. And I try to keep it pretty general where the kids can be creative and think of different ideas and explain their reasoning. So you could have kids like earn points. So after each challenge, you come back, they find the item, get a point if they get it within that certain amount of time. You could do it with teams. So if all the kids on that team each um, brought something, they could get a point for each kid. So you could get it more competitive. I mean, depending on your class, some classes might need that competitive aspect, but I will give you those free slides just for a fun party and the kids will laugh and there are some rules to it too. I'm really big on classroom management rules. Um, so I did include some rules for those games as well. So I hope that helps um, with your holiday planning. I always get that wrong, you guys. I never know what a point. I could never do the weather. Um, so hopefully that helps with your holiday parties or inspires you to think of other things that you can do with your kids. If you have any questions or want to get in touch with me, you can definitely write something in the comments below or um, DM me on Instagram at Naomi Meredith underscore. I would love to help you out and inspire you. Also, all of these things are can be found at NaomiMeredith.com slash virtual holiday party. And it's all those things that I talked about, including including all the links to all those different activities and the scavenger hunt. So you can have a fun holiday party with your kids because you know those, that's so amazing about elementary school. You get to do the holiday parties. Trust me. I miss that part so much. Um, but let me know if you have any questions and thanks so much. And I will talk to you soon.